Dear friends and colleagues, after the outbreak in Wuhan in Hubei province, Italy was the first European country to be affected by COVID-19 caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus. A month has passed since the 21st of February when the evening news reported that a patient was diagnosed positive to coronavirus in the small town of Codogno. Now, most of us could hardly point out Codogno on a map. It was a normal Friday evening and nobody was prepared for what was about to hit. So for a few days, things went on like usual business. It took some time to be able to take in the evidence of a disaster that was suddenly impacting us all beyond any imagination. And then the World Health Organization declared COVID-19 a worldwide pandemic. At that point, and very quickly, we all realized that what has now affected thousands of people was not just a bad flu and has propelled us in an, an unprecedented situation. The whole of Italy has since been put in lockdown. The health system tried to adjust as best and quickly as possible, first tackling priorities, namely saving lives. Intensive care units have been implemented in record time and new ones have been set up. Military emergency hospitals are being organized in different cities to, to receive more patients. The numbers talk clearly. The situation is simply very ugly and critical. Among others, a new problem that requires immediate consideration is approaching. Asso Ambiente, the Italian Association of Environmental Service Companies, is calling the government's attention to rapidly address the problem regarding increasing quantities of waste which has already increased of about a 20 to 30%, and more is to come as Wuhan teaches. The use of the huge quantities of PPEs and other disposable medical equipment generated in all the infectious wards, elderly care homes, the ones used by volunteers and waste handlers added to household municipal waste of positive patients in isolation or under compulsory quarantine represent a new challenge for their management, treatment, and disposal. An amendment to the Italian legislation on healthcare waste is being submitted to implement and simplify procedures for the pretreatment of medical waste. This is based on the indications of the World Health Organization in the technical brief issued on this topic. The indications are that the healthcare waste produced during the care of COVID-19 patients should be collected safely in designated containers and bags, treated and then safely disposed of or treated or both, preferably on site. If waste is moved off site, it is critical to understand where and how it will be treated and destroyed. Currently, in order to face the waste emergency, there are disposal plants that exchange tons of material from one region to another. If the amendment is quickly adopted, there will be positive implications on waste transport. Lower quantities of treated waste to be transported will, be, will reduce risks of spreading the infection and positive environmental impacts will be measurable due to fewer trucks on roads with consequent cost savings. For what concerns municipal waste, the Ministry of Health has issued instructions for all regions to implement the World Health Organization's indications regarding household waste from COVID positive patients or patients in quarantine all waste is classified as infectious, thus suspending separate collection. The challenge is to make bureaucracy travel faster than coronavirus. Provinces and regions are trying to move and adapt as quickly as possible. And together with the many members of ISVA and of the ISVA Healthcare Waste Working Group, we are collaborating in order to support and avoid the system to collapse. So thank you for the attention and my friends, please stay safe and stay home. Goodbye.